and all I usually do recipes that are all from scratch but everybody has days where they need to do something quick and easy um, because we have busy schedules and so on and so forth so I just thought I would share a super short uh, I guess clip on how I like to make my cheating chili if you will usually I make a hidden veggie chili that's got like tons of different veggies and a bunch of different stuff in there um, but it's it takes a lot of time because you have to cut everything up and so on and so forth so sometimes I like to use these McCormick slow cookers so all the seasoning is in the packet and then all you need is a pound of ground beef which I have defrosting in the microwave right now because this is a last minute dinner because uh, we have to get out of the house fast tonight and then I have two cans of diced tomatoes I like petite diced tomatoes because I don't like chunks of tomatoes in my food because I'm a weirdo and then two cans of dark red kidney beans, which I will drain and rinse, and one can of tomato sauce. And I'm going to get all of this mixed up in the slow cooker and then brown up the ground beef. And then I will be right back. Oh, I'm recording. Uh, sorry. So this is what it looks like once it's all mixed up. It was literally about, this took me about a minute to open the cans and dump it together. I've got a little bit of oil in this pan and then this is just about done. So I'm going to go ahead and brown it up. And you could, if you wanted to, add extra spices to the pot. But honestly, McCormick is like a really quality brand and... Uh, there we go. Uh, I don't know why my phone's doing that. A really quality brand, and the flavor is, is really delish. Like, I don't even add anything to it. So I'm going to brown this up, then I will add it back to the pot, stir it up, and then I will set it uh, to temp, and I will be back. Okay, so I went ahead and I, let's see if we can get that to focus, browned the ground beef. I'm going to pop it in here, find my spoon, and then, wow, I almost just dropped the phone in the chili. I'm going to mix it up nice and good, and then it's going to get set on low for eight hours, so it'll be ready when I get home from work. Uh, my husband has an errand to run right after work, so it'll be nice to have some dinner ready for him. And uh, like I said, McCormick is always really good quality products and seasonings, so I'm not going to add anything else to this. When I get home, I will just chop up a white onion um, and get out some shredded cheese and some sour cream, and maybe I will make my famous cornbread muffins um, that have a secret ingredient in them if we have enough time um, and we'll see how that goes so I'll be back later today with the last clip showing you what it looks like and I hope you have a great day I lost the video of the finished product ending so there was the chili and there is the chili with cheese and onions and sour cream I hope you enjoyed the video